Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will briefly discuss about geostationary orbits. First of all, we need to understand that what is geostationary. Geo means earth and stationary means static and stopped. It means that the orbits that are static with respect to x or stopped with respect to x for example when a satellite is moving around the earth it means that how much velocity or how much rotation rotational effect of the earth how much rotational effect of the earth and it depends upon the angular velocity of the satellite it means that uh, at instant at some instant the satellite is in front of specific portion of the earth and after some time, if we see after time interval t, the uh, specific uh, portion of the earth is this and the satellite will be at this point. It means that the velocity of the satellite is tuned in such a way, velocity of satellite is tuned in such a way that the rotation of the earth is resembles. Uh, for one complete rotation of the earth or for one day, the satellite should rotate or should complete its one cycle. We will understand or we will demonstrate this description by using some formulas. We know that the uh, orbital velocity of this satellite is e the formula is equal to V is equal to G M over R square root. But this satellite completes one rotation uh, in within some time or complete one dist one rotation of distance in one day. It means that from from the formula or expression of the s is equal to v multiplied by t we can calculate the velocity and because this velocity velocity of the earth rotational effect of the earth as well as velocity or orbital velocity of satellite are equal are tuned in such a way that they will remain in the same point so this s is a distance covered by satellite so this satellite cover one complete rotation in the form of 2 pi into r because the whole distance is complete, the whole rotation completes in 2 pi and radius is r is equal to v and t is the time period time or for one day or complete the time period for whole cycle. So velocity is equal to 2 pi r over t is equal to velocity. So this velocity, this is known as orbital velocity of satellite and this velocity which is for earth rotation for one cycle these are resemble and we will uh, equate these two velocities in order to get the radius of the uh, in, in order to get the radius or distance between the earth center and satellite so velocity or orbital velocity of satellite is equal to g m over r square root and other velocity which is earth rotation is equal to 2 pi r over t so we will equate them so g m over r square root is equal to 2 pi r over t. So we will take square on both sides in order to get the value of radius or distance between uh, earth center and satellite. So taking square on both sides it will become g m over r square root and whole square is equal to 2 pi r over t whole scale. In order to open this, this scale will be cancelled out by this scale root and the final term will be g m over r is equal to 4 pi scale r scale into t scale. We need to find out the value of r from this. We can see that these two terms have a relation of r so we will uh, merge these two terms in order to get the value of r or distance between earth center and satellite. So if we replace this value to here it will become gm is equal to 4 pi square r multiplied by r square into r cube over t. So we only need value of r we will separate this and all the value will transfer to the other side so it will become gm t over 4 r square 4 pi square is equal to r cube so we only need the value of r instead of r cube we will take cube root on both sides 
so it will become g m t over 4 pi square raised to power 1 by 3 it is cube root is equal to r q into 1 by 3 it will cancel out so only value of r will be remaining r is equal to 4 g m t over 4 pi square raised to power 1 by 3 from this expression we can see that these two values value of g gravitational constant is a constant value and it is it cannot be changed at any point so we will put its value value of g is equal to known we, we know this value it is 6.67 into 10 raised to power 11 newton meter square per kg square the so value of m is equal to mass of earth is equal to 6 into 10 raised to power 24 kilogram and mass uh, t is equal to time period for one complete day so it will be 60 multiplied by 60 seconds which will be 3600 seconds so it means that one, 20, uh, one hour is equal to 60 minutes and um, one, uh, min uh, one minute is equal to 60 seconds multiplied by 24 hours to become 24 hours so it will become 506060 this is the seconds for one day and we know the value of pi if we put all the values between in this term we will get the value of r or distance between two points between center of the earth and satellite r is equal to 4.23 10 raised to the power 4 kilometer this is a distance at this distance satellite remain around the earth and it rotates around the earth when earth rotates around its axis the satellite revolve around its earth center so this is a distance for satellite this is also known as geostationary orbit up till now we have finished about geostationary orbit and we also discussed the orbital velocity of satellite as well as rotational motion of the earth for one day we will finish here and if you like our video you can subscribe our channel for more videos i, I have uploaded all the lectures on my channel you can watch all the lectures we will see you in the next video bye bye